Hello everybody, welcome to this channel. This is a, gonna be a new channel. I'm gonna just probably talk about random topics, sports, current events, all that good stuff. So, yeah, if you guys don't know, I have a gaming channel, Elegant Antique World Gaming. I'm gonna leave it in the description, probably put it in the end screen. But make sure you subscribe to this channel also. So yeah, today in this video, I'm gonna explain like the I'm gonna give my opinion on the, the MLB AL and the P, uh, MVP race so a lot of people are saying Shohei Otani who plays for the Angels should be the MVP and I if the Angels were better I would probably agree with that in my opinion it should be Aaron Judge Shohei Otani is my favorite player so Aaron Judge is on my favorite team so there's like no bias here there's really no I'm not doing this like straight off of you know my personal opinion, no bias, because Shohei Itani sh could be MVP, but the way I believe it, it should be like the, the team that does good. MVP, most valuable player, shouldn't be to a team that's doing bad. So I'll show you the stats real quick. All right, so I'll show you the, the stats and stuff. Let me zoom in a little bit. So we got the Yankees, their first place, they clinched the division. And then we got the Angels, who they're doing terrible. And their 15 games out of everybody. Where if you take Shohei Otani out of the Angels, they're still a bad team. As well as if you take Aaron Judge, they might not have 96 wins. This is recorded October 1st, a Saturday. So, the season's not over yet. But this, like... I don't think, like, if you take Aaron Judge off that team, he's they're not winning anything. They're not going to be close. Now, if you look at the numbers, like, personal numbers, yeah, I think Shohei Itani is doing better. Like, this is his hitting numbers. He has 34 home runs, 276, 94 RBIs. These are not, itself is not MVP numbers, but it's the fact that he's a pitcher also, and a great pitcher. As to where he in pitching, he has a 2.35 ERA, which is amazing ERA. If you guys don't know, it's a great ERA. 27 starts, he's been healthy. He's been, I'm pretty sure, striking people out. 213 strikeouts, even though strikeouts is more accepted now. So, strike everyone. A lot of pitchers, if they pitch this much innings, they're gonna strike out 200 guys. If we're just being honest, it's great numbers. Is war. His war, which the the voters depend on Warlock, is 9.8 with both positions. And Aaron Judge, you look at his numbers, sitting on 61 home runs. Sure, I'm not counting the record, the home run record. But if you look at everything else, he's first in home runs, first in RBIs. And I believe he's second in my understanding. He's second in um batting average. Which in MLB, if you win first in all those categories, you're a triple crown winner. Those are like the major categories. And he has 174 hits. And he has his wars of 10, and basically almost 11. Which the voters, for some reason, they they um value it. And if you guys don't know what war is, I'll sh this is like the definition. A single number that presents the number of wins that the player added to the team above what a replacement player would add scale for a single season. A plus is MVP quality. Five plus All Star quality. Two plus is starters. Zero to two is reserve, and then less than zero is a replacement level. Which, to me, uh, I think WAR is looked in so too much. In my opinion, I still don't. I've watched baseball for, I would say, like 15 years minimum, and it's confusing to me. The, the saber metric stuff. So yeah. He's been healthy this year, and he's he's gonna get paid. Whoever signs him, I hope I'm a Yankees fan, so I hope the Yankees sign him. He's gonna get super super paid. Shohei Otani's gonna get paid too. He's a free agent after next year. But yeah, in my opinion, I do believe that Aaron Judge should be the MVP. Oh, and I didn't even mention his OPS 1.122. That's unheard of in the season. Usually, if you have an OPS like this, which is on base percentage, which is the times you've been on base, and then slugging, which is 
like from the hits that the percentage if you hit a double, triple, home run, that's great. Six ninety five. Like if you look at let me see OPS MLB OPS leaders. So you look at MLB OPS leaders, it's MLB.com. See, Aaron Judge is first, 1.1. They got Jordan Alvarez, amazing. So yeah, look, top five is unheard. These are all MVP candidates. Like in the end, I believe Paul Goldschmidt might win it because he's having a phenomenal year, but these are basically MVP numbers. And then average, I believe, I do believe that yeah, Aaron Judge is second by one point. So even so, he might end the the season second in the AO, which is still great. Three fourteen for a power hitter nowadays is amazing. Cause you look at the top batting average guys, like Freddie Freeman, he's not considered like a power hitter, even though he could hit it out the park. But you got Jeff McNeil, he's a He's not a power hitter. You got Paul Goldschmidt's a power hitter. Luis Araz, power, not a power hitter. Bogarts, Jose Abreu. So right, if you look at the top 10, like half of them are not even power hitters. So that's just how it is. Like um, hitting for average as a power hitter is amazing. Yeah, Shohei Otani. I do believe like if the Angels were better, he's probably a shoe in for MVP. He's my favorite player. He plays the game the right way. Good average, good on base. Slugging is great. OPS is great. OPS plus is good. This is an amazing year uh, for both of them. It's not to this. I don't want to discredit what one has done and what the other has done. It's more on the Angels. The Angels, Angels should have been better. They had the pieces to do it, but it didn't work out. They fired their manager midway through the season that didn't work out like trout got injured but Shohei was there they had decent they had they signed some decent starter Noah Syndergaard but it just didn't work out and then the Yankees it worked out for them and I believe Aaron Judges is the MVP and he might even get the AL record of home runs he has like six more games left as I'm recording this so he might have hit 62 when I put this out Probably put this out like on Monday. So yeah, that's my opinion. Aaron judges for MVP, and he's gonna get the bag. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comments down below who you think should be AL MVP, and also subscribe. Welcome to the new channel. Peace.